Hi everyone, it's Katrina. Number 10, Giant Squid. Giant squid sightings are incredibly rare due to the creature's elusive nature and the fact that they usually live very, very deep in the ocean. On average, humans spot one just once every few years. So it came as a huge surprise when Adele Gross and her husband encountered a stranded giant squid in 2020 during their daily morning walk in Cape Town, South Africa. Upon first seeing the bizarre beached creature on Golden Mile Beach, Adele's first instinct was to try putting it back into the ocean. But when she took a closer look, she realized that the squid was dead and just happened to be remarkably intact without any visible injuries. She theorized that large swells had washed it ashore the night before. The dead creature was roughly 13 feet long and weighed around 660 pounds. It was considerably smaller than a 30-foot-long school bus-sized giant squid that appeared on the beach in Cantabria, Spain in 2013. But giant squids can grow even larger than this, with some reports claiming that they reach up to 60 feet long. Many experts argue that this is unlikely, but still believe that the creatures can get pretty big, reaching up to 42 feet long. The truth is that scientists are still trying to come up with concrete answers for how large giant squids can grow. After all, it wasn't until 2004 that they first captured images of this seldom seen species in its natural habitat, and they still know relatively little about it. While not as large as its mythological relative, the Kraken, it was certainly still a rather startling sight to come across while getting some fresh air. What would you do if you saw a giant squid on the beach? Let me know in the comments below. Number 9. Pig-Faced Shark Italian naval officers on the island of Elba recently posted alarming photos of a dead shark with an eerily pig-like face on social media, sending internet users into a frenzy over the creature's homely appearance. They had just pulled the creepy carcass from the water, and the fish might look deformed, but it's not. Formerly known as an angular rough shark, it's nicknamed the pigfish due to its appearance and because it's known to emit a pig-like grunt when it's removed from the water. This species is common throughout the Mediterranean, but like most other sharks, it's become vulnerable to the effects of the fishing industry. Its numbers have been declining for decades, bringing the pigfish one step away from being classified as endangered on the International Union for Conservation of Nature Red List. The angular rough shark is just one of several strange sharks that have been found in the region in recent years. In 2019, a foot-long, skinless, toothless shark was caught off the Sardinia coast. Experts ruled out the possibility that it was a new species and were surprised to learn that the creature was around three years old when it died. Despite its ailments, it grew at a normal rate, ate well, and lived a relatively normal life. They concluded that the fish had a genetic mutation but were unsure whether the mutation was natural or caused by chemical pollution, and announced plans to continue investigating. Number 8. The Oarfish As the world's longest bony fish species, oarfish reach up to 56 feet long. Because they live at depths of around 3,300 feet, they are seldom seen and are difficult to observe. Consequently, scientists know very little about oarfish, even though the species was first described back in 1772. It's a real-life sea serpent. These prehistoric-looking deep dwellers can weigh as much as 600 pounds. Every now and then, someone spots an oarfish, giving researchers the rare opportunity to study the species. But again, it is rare, and when it happens, it's pretty shocking. In 2013, snorkeling instructor Jasmine Santana spotted an oarfish off the California coast in Toyon Bay. She approached cautiously before realizing that the creature was dead and tried pulling it to shore. It took the help of more than 15 of Santana's colleagues to drag the 18-foot specimen back to land. This was an unlikely incident to begin with, but things got even weirder when just five days later, a 14-foot-long oarfish washed ashore on an oceanside California beach. The two strandings were probably not a coincidence, according to biologist Milton Love, who told reporters that strong currents and swells probably pulled the two giant fish to shore and killed them. In late 2020, a 16.4-foot-long oarfish was caught off eastern Taiwan in the aftermath of two earthquakes. 
Here they are known as earthquake fish because local legend goes that these fish are spotted when there is going to be an earthquake. A seafood restaurant owner named Chen Kuo Pin paid $560 for the fish, noting in an interview that it was the largest earthquake fish he had ever seen. Despite their imposing size and off-putting appearance, oarfish are not dangerous to humans. Not only is it highly unlikely for a person to cross paths with one, but they lack real teeth and are not capable of eating a person. But imagine if you were an ancient mariner and came across one of these. It would look fearsome indeed. Number 7. Rare Octopus In 2020, Washington State resident Ron Newberry captured a photo of a weird creature during the morning low tide on Whidbey Island and Puget Sound. Unsure of what the three and a half foot long specimen was, he posted the image on social media and sent it to the local press. Numerous commenters chimed in with their opinion on what the animal might be, including a Seattle-based engineer who speculated that it was a deep-sea Dumbo octopus, but even experienced scientists were unsure. Marine ecology researcher Dr. Megan Dethier told local papers that at first glance, she thought the creature looked like something from outer space. She added that the specimen didn't look like any common local species. Scientists across the country came to the general consensus that the animal was a seven-armed octopus. It's not super unusual to see one of these creatures in the area, although it doesn't typically travel that far north, according to NOAA biologist Elena Jorgensen. She explained that wind from a recent storm may have blown the octopus into Puget Sound and that it may have died in the low salinity waters. Zoologist Michael Vecchione told the news that he was surprised to hear of a seven-armed octopus in the region, but he conceded that shifting animal distributions are not unusual in the world lately. Did you know there were seven-armed octopus species? I don't think I did until now, and we've been talking about strange ocean critters on this channel for a while. Let me know in the comments below. Number 6. Sea Hares Last June, an Australian woman spotted a jelly-like sea creature in the city of Fremantle along the country's west coast. She took a photo and posted it on social media in hopes that someone could tell her what it was. Almost immediately, people began warning the woman not to let her dog anywhere near the bizarre blob. Commenters identified it as a sea hare, which contains toxins that are dangerous to canines. These strange specimens turn up somewhat frequently along Australian beaches, but many people who encounter them have never seen one before. Just months earlier, a man who spotted one in the same area described it as alien-like in a social media post, indicating that he was completely unfamiliar with it. Macquarie University professor Cullum Brown told reporters that sea hares are mildly toxic, depending on the algae they have been eating. He added that when they are alarmed, they produce a purple dye. In one particularly disturbing instance in 2019, a beachgoer in Queensland found a bleeding sea hair at Scarborough Beach. The blood was actually ink. There are 23 known sea hair species throughout the Indo-Pacific Ocean, with some reaching weights of up to 31 pounds by adulthood. And it's true that they are toxic to dogs. While the severity of the effects varies from one dog to the next, Symptoms can include excessive drooling, spasms, vomiting, seizures, and even death. Experts urge dog owners to immediately take their canine companion to the vet if they come into contact with this sea hare. Are you familiar with these unusual sea creatures? What about some of their cousins, like sea bunnies or leaf sheep? They're pretty amazing, right? Number 5. Hairy Sea Monster in mid-2018, a hairy, truck-sized sea monster washed ashore in the Philippine province of Oriental Mindoro, leaving onlookers mystified. Covered in hair-like strands, the grayish-white creature measured roughly 20 feet long and was around 4 feet wide at its thickest point. It stunk like any several-ton rotting carcass would. Local fishery law enforcement officer Vox Crusada said that the odor was so overwhelming he nearly vomited while taking tissue samples. That's a tough job. It must have been pretty intense for a seasoned expert who's been around plenty of dead sea animals to have such a hard time. Locals nicknamed the rancid creature the Globster, while officials worked to determine what it was. While it wasn't readily identifiable to the untrained eye, Crusada said that the animal appeared to be a decomposing whale. 
This makes sense, given its size, and it wasn't the first dead whale to appear on a Philippine beach in recent years. In 2017, the year before the Globster appeared, a similar-sized hairy sea monster weighing an estimated 4,400 pounds was found in the Dinagat Islands. These creatures are known to appear elsewhere, including basically anywhere with a coastline. And they do turn out to be whales most of the time, even if they look much different in their rotting form. Number 4. Rare Jellyfish During his daily run one day along Vanderbilt Beach in Florida, Anatoly Smirnov spotted an odd four-foot-wide jellyfish in the sand. He had never seen anything like it. Smirnov snapped a picture of the strange fish and sent it to a local news channel, joking that he almost got eaten by a giant jellyfish. He told the news that he runs along the beach all the time, but it was the first time he encountered this type of creature. Experts identified it as a large species nicknamed the Pink Meanie. It's not exactly harmless, but its sting typically feels no more painful than a mosquito bite, according to marine biologist James Douglas. The animal's tentacles can grow up to 70 feet long. Douglas surmised that other jellyfish may have attracted the pink meanie to shore, and the sighting isn't as rare as it may have seemed to Smirnoff, especially during that time of year, when the species' prey is quite abundant in local waters. Douglas said that there were possibly several more pink meanies lingering in the area at the time. So watch out, you don't want to get wrapped up with a jellyfish. Number 3. Mystery Species and Amazon River Monster Another Florida resident, Ivan Caesar, was spending time along the Gulf Coast earlier this year at Cayo Costa State Park when he spotted the skeleton of a strange creature that he didn't recognize. He snapped some photos and posted them on social media to see if anyone knew what it was. But nobody did, and even experts were baffled by Caesar's discovery. They didn't think the animal was a shark, since shark skeletons are made of cartilage and tend to sink. Some people suggested that it was a predatory Amazonian fish called an arapaima, since one had been found just days earlier in another part of the state. But this was also unlikely, because arapaimas are freshwater fish, and the Gulf of Mexico is saltwater, part of the larger Atlantic Ocean. Researchers think that the fish could be a deep-dwelling species that rarely ventures near the water's surface. It may have been killed by a toxic algal bloom called red tide, which is known to occasionally wreak havoc on Florida's coastal wildlife. Wildlife officials were certainly concerned about the discovery of the arapaima, even if they believed the two cases were unrelated. The state already struggles with numerous invasive species, and a South American monster fish is the last thing a fragile Floridian ecosystem needs. Arapaimas can grow to be 10 feet long and weigh as much as 200 pounds. The one that washed ashore in Cape Coral in 2020 was roughly five and a half feet long. It may have been someone's exotic pet that they released into the wild when it got too big. But sadly, this is how many of Florida's invasive species establish their problematic presence. Authorities urged civilians to contact them immediately if they spotted another arapaima in hopes of stopping the species from establishing a breeding population. Number 2. Blue Dragons Maria Wagner has lived near the beach for most of her life. She even runs a Facebook page dedicated to the local shore and its wildlife. But even this seasoned marine enthusiast was stunned when over a dozen weird blue dragon-like creatures washed up on the beach. Maria had never seen anything like them in her home in Cape Town, South Africa. Fearing that they might sting, she avoided putting them back in the sea as she had done many times before with other, more recognizable animals. As it turned out, Maria was smart for not touching the beach specimens. Nicknamed blue dragons, they absorb the stinging cells of their prey, which includes the notorious Portuguese man-o'-war. They store the venom in their tentacles, where it remains ready for use against predators and other threats. Stings can cause nausea, vomiting, and allergic skin reactions, including itching, rashes, and lesions. While the sighting was a first for Maria, blue dragons are known to occasionally wash up on beaches in the US and Australia while drifting through the sea on their backs, allowing winds and currents to carry them along. But if you see one, don't touch it. Number one, sea potatoes. Beachgoers in Cornwall, England were perplexed when hundreds of tennis ball-sized, heart-shaped creatures washed ashore in 2018. 
but the sight was no surprise to marine biologists, who immediately recognized the specimens as sea potatoes. Also known as heart urchins, they spend their lives buried in the sand along the coastlines of several European and Asian countries, including Ireland, Japan, and the United Kingdom. They are related to starfish and are covered in short yellowish-brown spines. But how did they end up stranded on the beach in Cornwall? Scientists believe that the sea potatoes got mixed up in a mass mating event that went wildly wrong. The creatures likely left their burrows to breed and were killed and washed ashore in a storm. At first glance, sea potatoes may seem like unimportant blobs, but they are a hugely critical component to the seafloor environments in which they live. They are equipped with an internal hydraulic system that enables them to burrow up to 9 inches into the seafloor. But they are not immune to mass stranding events as the incident in Cornwall shows, and it certainly wasn't the first such stranding to happen, even if many onlookers had never seen anything quite like it. Thanks for watching! What's your favorite sea creature? Let me know in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe! See you next time!